All right, so let's get right into it. We're doing Marilyn Monroe, and we're going to get right into it. <clears throat> so, as you can tell, this doesn't look like the American beauty we've all have known to grow and love. Well, some of us. And what you're going to notice is there's going to be a new woman in every photo. Uh, but that's going to happen as she starts aging and gets older. But look at how much she changed from here to there, like... The eyebrows are different. Like, those don't even look like the same girl. Neither does that. You can't tell me that this girl... Look at how arched those eyebrows are compared to that. Different girls. The face is different. So they were fucking with her even as a little girl, guys. Because your eyebrows don't change that much. And the forehead's different. Her eyebrows changed again. And the eyes changed. In three different photos. And she's young here, guys. Her chin is different. Her mouth is different. And then her eye... He changes again, guys. Different, bigger eyes. Look how much bigger those eyes are. The nose changes. Different nose, right? Different lips. Different chin. And then now look at this. Who the hell is this woman? They're trying to tell us these are the same people. Like, how? Different nose, different eyes. Different mouth, different chin. Like, that is not the same woman. I'm sorry. Neither is this. Look how faded those eyebrows are. It's so weird. These women aren't the same either. Neither are these women. Look at how different the eyebrows are, guys. Look at her eyebrows. Just that alone. The nose is different. The mouth is different. The cheeks different. This woman's got a fatter face, different bone structure. Now, all of a sudden, she goes from this to beautiful as hell. Look how small her eyes are here. And look how big and wide-eyed they are there. So, yeah, she was definitely cloned. Look at the space between her chin, her bottom of her lip and the top of her chin. Or the bottom of her chin, I should say. Look how much smaller it is there. These aren't the same women. They're beautiful women, but they're not the same. They're very similar, but there's very huge differences in them. And then right here, look at how different their eyebrows are and the eyes. Big eyes, small eyes. Right between her nose and mouth, bigger space, smaller space. Not even close, guys, these two women. Look how much bigger her jaw, cheekbones, and uh, yeah, her jawline is compared to this. There is no jawline on this woman. This woman is very pronounced. Big ears sticking out, right? No ears sticking out. Ears, same thing. Why aren't all her ears sticking out and everything? It only sticks out in that one because it's a different woman, guys. See how far out they stick out? We won't see that again. Now she's just turning her head so it looks like they're sticking out, but they're not. But either way, these two women aren't the same women. This woman has like brown eyes, right? And this woman's got blue eyes, so how are you going to tell me those are the same? D different nose, different space between the mouth and nose, different chins. But really, it's the eye color. And obviously, the head's different. Now we're back to what? Blue eyes again? So we went from brown eyes to blue eyes. And look at her nose. Look how much that nose changed. Look at over here. It's like a round at the tip of her nose. It's very round, right? Now look at this. Pointy. How? How does that happen like that, guys? And look at look at her cheeks right here. You see how different it is? Look right here. And look at that. Two different smiles. Two different smiles, guys. And look at the chins. Not even close. Your face doesn't change that much a year apart. And the eye color is just glaring. Your, your eyes don't change color. Now look how big these eyes are. Small eyes. Big eyes. Small eyes. Big eyes. Wrinkles in the cheeks, no wrinkles in the cheeks. Slightly smaller lips compared to these. And the chin is relatively close, but not close enough. And the hairline at the top is way different. They try to make it look the same. They try to make them all have this little hook in the front. But you can tell the hooks are all different in every one. It's not natural. You can tell they just tried to make it look alike. See, they tried to do it again, but 
the hair type is just not the same. The hair color is off. Her cheeks, her forehead shape is different. The chin is smaller on her than on this one, and her lips are higher up on this woman. And on this woman, look at the nose. You're telling me that's the same nose, dude? Fuck out of here. Excuse my French, but sometimes you gotta curse to get your point across. This is ridiculous. Look at the shape of her eyebrows here and how close they are to her eyes compared to this. See? It's further up, further down. And eye color is different. Look at how much lighter these eyes are. Darker. Darker blue eyes. Lighter green, almost. Hazel eyes. So, not the same. Now, who's this? This woman looks like she's high. And that's not the same woman. Look at these eyebrows, right? And then look at those eyebrows. That's not the same woman. I don't understand how people are so dumb. Look at it. Look at the nose. It's not the same. Dark eyes. Lighter eyes. Like, what? Forehead's different. They try to do that little curve thing at the top, but it's different. It's just a bunch of Marilyn Monroe lookalikes. She probably died of an over overdose early, or they killed her. Who knows? Maybe she was against all the bullshit, too, and they killed her off. Look at the chin. It's like a complete bone structure difference. Look at the ears sticking out on this one. Can't see them there. It's, it's just, it's glaring. Now you're going to tell me she goes from this, look at these eyebrows, to that. Completely different. And this is the Mon Marilyn Monroe that we know of. Like, the one that, the image in our head that we think of. This is the one they try to put in our heads, but this woman is nothing, <clears throat> she looks nothing like this woman, or this woman, or the other ones. Now she's got darker eyes, when we've seen her with light eyes, the previous photo. Now she's got thick lips, pointy nose, lighter white, uh, milky skin now, all of a sudden. And look, at she her, her eyelids are showing on both sides, and now you can't see her eyelids. So it's a different person, guys. Look at the cheeks. Her skin is way smoother now as she's getting older. Her neck is smaller here. Her shoulder width is tighter inside. Like, yeah, th this is the one we have the image of in our head. But this may not even be her, guys. Well, it, it's not her because we've seen other women. So now we know the Marilyn Monroe they stick in our heads or they show us. Like, the popular pictures of her are not real. It's an imposter, clone, whatever you want to call it, but it's not her. Now, look at this woman and this woman. These women aren't, women aren't the same. Look at the eyelids and the eyes. Completely different. Look at the mouth. Different size. Different nose. This woman's got a, a smaller, narrower face. See? It's a different woman, guys. Forehead's different. Ears. This woman seems to have larger ears. And look at this, guys. Birthmark is gone. Birthmark, no birthmark, no birthmark. And then watch this. Birthmark! Like, out of nowhere, just birthmark appears. But no one calls this out. So in 1950, out of the blue, Marilyn Monroe shows herself with a mole. Okay. And now all of a sudden, she's just going to have a mole there. So, is she the first woman in history that gets a mole installed on her skin? Who who would elect to get a mole, guys? Now, look at this. Different woman again. Look at how different the eyes are. Smaller eyes, darker eyes, different eyebrows, bigger mouth, smaller chin, different skin tone. Now, they're just portraying her to be a slut, always with the mouth open and and her teeth are different. Look at how different the teeth are. Just different. They're both good looking pair of teeth. But they're just different shapes. Your teeth wouldn't sh change shapes like that. Now this birthmark is more pronounced than this one. So yeah. Different eyebrows. Smaller forehead. Now they're just getting any white woman that can pass. And throwing, making the hairstyle and putting white makeup on her. Red lipstick. A lot of white women can pass as Marilyn Monroe, guys. They, women do it all the time on TikTok and on different social media platforms trying to be Marilyn Monroe. Literally, any woman can do it. Even a black woman if you have enough face paint. So it's it's just not hard to impersonate these people. Especially when they're cloning. Different woman again. 
even darker eyes. What, what happened to her light blue eyes that we saw earlier? Huh? Oh, they're back? Are they back? See, look. Look how dark those eyes are. Now, back to the light eyes. They just mock us. That's all they do. Now, she had no butt chin. But now, she has a slight butt chin. And now, the mole is bigger. Mole, 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 mole is bigger. Who is this now? Who, who the... So we went from light eyes to dark eyes and even thicker lips. I mean, I like I like what she looks like, but that ain't her, man. I don't know who that is, that imposter. Look how thick this neck is, guys. That's crazy. Can't see her neck. Ears are sticking out, but they're not sticking out here, though, guys. So that's not fishy to you? Sticking out here, not sticking out. So I just don't get how you guys fall for this. These women are not the same. What the hell? They use, they literally use a different woman every time. Look how much fatter and bigger and wider this face is compared to that. And her skin's lighter, of course. That should be the main thing you see. Forehead is smaller. Yeah, this is glaring, guys. Different nose. Look how bigger her, how much bigger her nostrils are compared to here. Small nostrils, bigger nostrils. Like, need I say any more, guys? Like... Look at this. Now she changed. This looks like Britney Spears. This doesn't even look like Marilyn Monroe. Like, these two women don't even look alike at all. Look at how small the chin is here. Bigger chin, higher up with the lips. Different nose. Different eyelids. Mm -hmm. Different eyebrows. Like, smaller forehead. Now, who's this woman? Now they're just putting anyone out there. See this guy? See what I mean? Like, who are these women? These, these these aren't the same women. Like, I'm not fooled. Look how different the nose looks. Wider face. Smaller birthmark, but then it gets big over here. I'm just baffled by the fact that it appeared out of nowhere in 1940-something. I forget the year. But out of nowhere, it just appears. But no one called that out ever. Like, this is... All the women that they've put in her place, they're all beautiful women. They can all get it. But that's not the point. The point is that they are doing something to these people. And we're just made out here just to enjoy their movies and their songs and act like everything's okay. Like, if they can do this to these people that are rich and powerful, what do you think they can do to us? Like, don't, like, you can't just let this shit slide. Look at this. Look at these women. Look, look at these beautiful women being interchanged and intertwined and pausing or imposing as someone else. Being imposters, dark eyes, light eyes. Like, are we serious, guys? These are not the same women. Ay, ay, ay. Again, another change. Look at how different the nose looks. Look at look at her nose there, and look at that. Like, how are you going to say that's the same? If you say that's the same, then you're basically saying all white people look alike, and that's not true. Look how wide her chin is there, and then she's got the small feminine chin this one is like a masculine manly chin look at this and then now it goes to a feminine chin so like right there alone how don't you notice that and then look this looks like britney spears again thick ass beautiful lips S smaller lips here thicker lips there right feminine chin thicker chin you see what i mean guys it's completely different Be and then look at this it's almost non-existent the birthmark here it's huge. Like, I can go on forever, guys. And look at her teeth. Different looking teeth. Again, look at those teeth right there. Different teeth. These teeth right here look like chiclets, almost. Nice teeth there, but these are chiclets. And then these are nice, nice teeth. So this is different. And different nose again. And her birthmark is showing more there. And back to the feminine chin. Eyebrows are faded, but they're thick here. Okay. Whatever you say. And then now we go to 58. Look how pointy her eyebrows are all of a sudden. When have they been that pointy? They've never been. Now all of a sudden, 58. Up. Oh, let's change them up. And remember how low and close back in the 40s? Remember how low and close her eyebrows were to her eyes? They were like almost hugging her eyelids. Your eyebrows don't change position, guys. Ever. 
It's impossible. Where they are, that's where your hair grows from. That's where they stay. It doesn't just say, you know what, in 10 years, I'm going to start growing three inches up. Or, you know what, let's go an inch lower. Like, no, that doesn't happen. These are all different people or clones. So now look at this. Look at those eyebrows. And look at the nose. Different nose again. Different lips. Look at how yellow those teeth are. But these are white. Come on now. Look at the chins again. Wider. Almost a forming butt chin. This is back to the feminine chin. It's just different people. Different women. Look at the structure of her jawline here. Compared to there. It's completely different guys. And the, the ears. She's got the hanging earlobe, and this is the connecting earlobe. So, like, what are we talking about? This looks like another form of Britney Spears, and the chins are different again. Jesus. Different nose. Different eyes. The eyes don't lie. Her eye These eyebrows are higher than this one. Look how much lower and closer they are to her eyes here, and then here. Look how high they are. It's not the same woman, guys. And then look at this. You're telling me these two women are the same? And this is in the same year they're trying to tell us. Look how much... This is like a woman in her 20s. This woman is in her, like, 40s, guys. These aren't even the same year of women. And they're trying to tell us these are the same woman in the same year. Like, if you believe this, if you believe anything in Hollywood, you need help. Look how high up her eyebrows are here. And then how much lower they are there in the same year. And she's both supposed to be... An older woman at this point. Not old, but in her like late 30s, early 40s at least. And now, who is this? Who is this woman? Who is this woman? You see what I mean, guys? Like They don't even look close to the same. Now, who's this? Like, who are these women, guys, that they keep throwing in here, telling us there's someone else? Now, this woman's got a fat chin, different nose again. She just keeps changing. Look at her nose here, guys, right? What is similar with this nose and this nose? Huh? What, what is so similar? Oh, she got plastic surgery. Yeah, shut up. She looks older here, and now she goes back to young again? This is all in the same year. And then look at those teeth. When have we seen her teeth look like this? Guys, come on, guys. Look at these teeth. These aren't the same women, guys. Sorry. And that's her again. Look at the teeth and the nose. Oh, we're going to say that's the same? Are we that stupid and that dumb? And then back to this look. Look at the teeth. Just the teeth alone. And then the birthmark appears. It's gone. It appears again. It's gone. It appears again. Like, what are we doing? Different lips. Uh, who is this now? Different eyebrows. Different everything, guys. I, I, I just don't know how people fall for this crap. It, it just pisses me off at this point. But I'm going to keep releasing them because someone's got to tell you guys the truth because, you know, the government isn't going to do it. See, look, look at this. Marilyn Monroe looks like Britney Spears. And remember what I said last video, how these stars always keep getting reused and reused? They're probably cloned and they just never die and they keep using it for every generation. That's why they're always so mega rich and so powerful because they never have left. You know, they just keep getting recloned. But we'll die out and they'll just keep reusing these people. And the people in charge probably have their own clones. Who knows, man? It's a, it's a crazy, crazy world. I haven't found too much on this, but I did find this. Let's take a listen at this and then we'll end the video. There really wasn't much on this, guys. Because I'll tell you why, how the celebrities got into it. Back in the past, it was a political thing. They bring all the leaders of the, of the countries in together, and they can all chat about stuff and enjoy this, uh, you know, sacrilegious, uh, forbidden place, this cloning thing, and do whatever they can't do in real life. Well, they got real bored with each other, because most of them are fat and ugly and bald and stuff. So they started bringing celebrities there. This is why JFK died, by the way, and Marilyn Monroe. JFK was going to talk about it, the cloning station. He didn't want to go. She didn't want to go. They had her, they had her there, too. They said, uh, we'll torture you at the cloning station if you uh, talk about it. Anyway, um, yeah, that's like a big thing. That's why he died. Like, um, man. So anyways, uh, it's not the fifth dimension. It's just the cloning station. And 
cloning station with your clone pre-injected with drugs. And uh, let me tell you, all the celebrities, because they bring them there, and they tell them, look, you're here, you're going to hang with us. If you don't want to, well, if they cry and make a fuss like Lauren Hill from the Fugees, uh, make a song about I Get Out and stuff, they let her not go to the cloning station. They don't activate her, let her have normal dreams. But other people, they really grow them to stay. And uh, they say, if you ever talk about it, you're going to die. Well, because I'll tell you why, how the celebrities got into it. Back in the past, it was a political thing. They bring all the leaders. I wish there was more to this. Together. I want to hear more on that. But it kind of just cuts off right there. And I didn't really find much more after that. The day Marilyn Monroe died. No, I don't want to see all that. Uh, let's see. People are saying she's alive. Uh, let's see. I don't know what that is. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that I may have skipped over. Creepy fact about Marilyn Monroe. I don't know. Let's see. All right, I think we'll leave it off here because it's just such an old topic. You know, it's hard to get new stuff on this. You know, if she was alive in this time, we would have so much more on this. But there's just not much information. But what we saw should be glaring enough, honestly. Like what we saw was just so telling. But we'll leave it there. I don't know who we'll do next, but football season, it's knocking on the door. So this is going to be coming to a pause soon. But we'll do as much as we can leading up to that. So uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.